Hello, in this Quest Pro video, I'm going to show you Gravity Sketch. So right now I am in regular mode. So let me just draw a few things. I'm sitting down. I will be getting up and showing you path through as well. So, you know, you've probably seen some Gravity Sketch videos, so you can do a bunch of cool stuff. So let me go here, you know, get some ink. And if I use the right analog stick, do it left and right and try to change the size of the ball. If I do it this much, I'll say, hello. Yeah. Okay, looking good so far. I can create an object. But I'm not even going to do that. Because I can, you know, change color. If I go down with my controller further in, it goes darker. And out, it goes lighter. And I can just you know, pick it like so. So if I do yellow, I could say... I can do it like a smiley face. It's a weird smiley face. Do some hair. Let's do a, a, a mustache and a beard. That looks so strange. Use the back button to just grab everything, move it over. Gives me times, can save sketch, take screenshot, go help, exit to lobby. Pretty cool stuff. But now, this is the cool thing. If I use any one of the grab buttons, which is you know where your middle finger would usually get placed, the one I'm pressing right now. If I put one of the controllers or any one to the side of my head, this little thing pops up, this little purpley area. And if I keep it pressed, it it's like a virtual headset that I've taken off. I'm just going to throw away now. And we're in my room. But what I drew was still here. It's pretty cool. So now I'm going to let's go red. I'm going to go to the Star Wars Star Destroyer. I'm going to just annotate it. I'm going to say in... progress and you know, this is pretty insane that i'm in the headset i'm not seeing the real world in terms of with my eyes but with the path i'm able to walk around i feel comfortable walking around as i would normal speed and you know i can you know do whatever i want i can say feel comfortable that i'm not hitting stuff macbook maybe let's say you're labeling some stuff MacBook Pro and it is the 16 inch version okay so let's just move everything out to the way move it all out of the way make your tiny and there we go Okay, we're at 100% now. Move it out the way. So let's say if I go over here, I could be doing a say, creative volume. Okay, so it's basically like a cube. Okay, feels strange that I'm walking through it. That is a very strange feeling. This torch is just in this particular mode. Let's leave it back here. And could do some more work on it. Let's do a stroke. Let's change the color. Go to white. Let's see. Obviously, I am no, let's say, artist. But if he was better than me, yes, I could definitely see. So. And if you had more patience to do it, definitely see some people creating some amazing things. And yes, I can move the object as well whilst doing this. Find it's easier for me if I don't, because I'm not the best at this. And now let's do it over here. Now let's put my signature here, just like my name. Put my first name. Put 
put this over here and I'll create another one let's say for create a revolve Ooh, it's a bit too big move over there okay, let me make this a little tinier <laughs> pretty cool and you know you can do primitive objects as well you can do surfaces so I could maybe want to draw if I wanted to draw at this table obviously there's stuff in the way but let's say if I wanted to draw at this box the surface of this box <laughs> So yeah, that's a little, so to go back into, move everything out the way, to go back into the regular mode, you put again one of your controllers to the side, it shows this sort of visor cut out, grab it, and you take it off. So instead of putting it on, you're just constantly taking it off. Now, I'm back in this world, and I feel strange, because I don't want to get up and walk around now, because I don't know what's going on, and I don't have to double tap at the side to go for regular pass through, walk to somewhere, do a little sketch, make sure it's in the right position. I can, with, you know, the Quest 2, with the Quest Pro especially, because it's got the color pass through, the better, you know, the pass through than Quest 2. Still not there yet. Still needs to be smooth, especially with motion and the resolution. Ideally, needs to be full on actual pass through instead of a recording, you know, you know what the cameras are seeing. But yeah, this is a little preview of what Gravity Sketch is like on the MetaQuest Pro. If you have any video, um, if you have any comments, feel free to uh, leave them in the comment section. Let me know what the videos you would like to see next for MetaQuest Pro. I'll be doing a bunch more. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.